good afternoon <coughs> in my today's lecture i shall discuss about the problems on the formulations what we proposed in the previous uh, lecture regarding uh, the plane and its related equations and also i will try to cover today the last uh, topic that is a uh, straight line in the space the plane in the space and straight line in the space are the two topics today i am going to discuss fine in the previous class i had given the formulations related to the plane as a reminder i would like to <coughs> say that what is a plane and what is a straight line both of them look to be same uh, almost the same type of definitions but uh, they make too much of difference in the first word and the second word now uh, with respect to the plane the problems which i am going to uh, discuss today only some selected important uh, examples uh, which are uh, straightforward approach to the formulas the first uh, equation general equation of the plane is supposed to be that is ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to 0 and the next is one point form of the plane next is intercept form of the plane next is pa plane parallel to another plane next is equations of the bisectors of the plane so these were the topics which i discussed in the previous class now the problem to verify all these uh, uh, terminologies all these formulations the first problem is like this find the equation find the equation of the plane passes through the points 0 1 1 1 1 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 and check they are coplanar yes the point which I said in the previous class that is about the plane when the points are laying on the same plane <coughs> points laying on the same plane will be when I hold the a plane in the space I locate one point here one point here and one point here according to this problem present problem this is 0 1 1 1 1 2 and then minus 1 2 minus 2 what you have to check is basically you have to find an equation of this plane let me remind you this is a space if you consider uh, uh, the ceiling that wall and this wall okay these three meet at one point otherwise the flooring this wall and this wall they will meet at the bottom that is uh, mutually perpendicular point that is a location yes I am holding this paper in this space right when you draw a straight line you draw a straight line for on this plane you draw a straight line like this by locating two points and if you join those two points they must completely lie on that surface that is called as a plane I said okay now here according to this problem there is one more point there is one more point third point I consider this is P this is Q this is R for example all the three points are lying on the same plane for this situation we call it as coplanar that means coplanar all the three points are lying on the same plane this is another plane for example in the space this is another plane this is one first plane this is second plane what we expect from this problem is you are given three points all these three points must lie on the same plane either this one or this one connecting to these three points you must uh, calculate or you must uh, define the equation of a straight line the solution goes like this the first point 0 1 1 and the second point it is 1 1 2 and the third point is minus 1 2 and then minus 2 okay this is my three dimensional case this is the plane I, then I look at these three points like P Q R with the numbers 0 1 1 then it is 1 1 2 then it is minus 1 
2 minus 2. All those three points are lying on the same plane. We take the help of one point form of the plane. That should be let one point form of the plane be a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1. For example, this is x1, y1, z1, this is x2, y2, z2 and x3, y3, z3 should be a into x minus 0 plus b into b into y minus 1 plus c into z minus 1 equal to 0. So, this is one point form any one of these three points you select and then create and then form one point form of a straight line. For example, this is equation number 1, this is equation number 1. Then what we do any one among these three points I consider let one point form of the straight line you have to construct, this is the construction of one point form. Then if this plane, uh, uh, equation of the plane that means equation 1, if equation 1 passes through that means P you are taking, Q you are taking and then R. With respect to this, this is the straight line. If it passes through another point, then we replace X by 1, Y by 1 and Z by 2. Therefore, through the second point 1, 1, 2 that is q. Therefore, a into 1 minus 0 plus b into 1 minus 1 plus c into that is 2 minus 1 equal to 0 should be a minus 0 into b plus of c equal to 0. You have the equation now that is equation number 2 only in terms of a, b, c. As you know, a, b, c are nothing but a direction ratios. Direction ratios, what do you, what is the meaning of that? Direction ratios will measure the positive direction of, the positive direction of the line which is from the origin, otherwise anywhere in the space. A, B, C are the direction ratios, they are the numerical values, otherwise we call them as proportional direction cosines. For example, if I take from there, this is the right-handed screw system right this is one axis this is another axis this is another axis then i take this line like this i can move it anywhere i can move it like this okay anywhere if i move what is the angle this line makes with the base axis and another perpendicular axis and one more this one when i when i hold like this this one otherwise like this okay this line makes the angle with x axis that is cos alpha and y axis that is cos beta and z axis that is cos gamma. These things we call them as direction cosines and these a, b, c are nothing but proportional direction cosines. Proportional direction cosines means they are also the numerical values which represent other than applying the cosine trigonometric function, applying the cosine trigonometric function to measure the positive direction of a straight line in the space that is what this is a b c one equation also if equation 1 passes through equation 1 passes through another point that is capital r minus 1 2 minus 2 then replace x y z by this new point a into minus 1 minus 0 b into 2 minus 1 c into minus 2 minus 1 equal to 0 should be minus a plus b minus 3 c equal to 0. This is another equation. See what I am going to do here is you have to form one point form of the straight line by choosing any one of these three points then <coughs> you allow this plane to pass through the remaining two points then it is obvious that all these three points are lying on the same plane because if they hold, hold means right side 0 is there, when you substitute in the left side in place of x, y, z, they must satisfy the condition. What is the condition? Left side also you must get it as 0 and right side also you must get it as 
0 that is what I am going to prove now yes these are the two equations in terms of uh, ABC we got because you know this is the plane for example this plane is nothing but AX plus BY plus CZ uh, CZ equal to uh, CZ plus D equal to 0 this is your general form in my previous class I had explained any plane which you hold any plane which you hold in the space is represented by this equation this is what I have you written on the board because your board is two dimensional case it is not the three dimensional case but the figure I have written on the board is three dimensional case right. So, from these two equations you have to finally explain finally give the equation in terms of x y z. Now you have to solve for a b c solving a b c by which method if you had studied in the high school level that is cross multiplication method otherwise it is also given in the intermediate classes that is by cross multiplication method when you have two equations because three unknowns. So, you have to understand the basic mathematics here you have two equations but, but three unknowns the condition does not allow because, because the condition is basic condition is always you must have equal number of unknowns with equal number of equations but here two equations but there are three unknowns. So, two is not equal to three therefore, some alternate method you have to find out by alternate method you have to calculate these values that is nothing but cross multiplication method. Now by 2 and 3 I go like this because the method which you know basically that one when you calculate A you have to ignore the coefficients of A and you have to write the determinant and alternately you have to take plus minus that is the second determinant z equal to c divided by it is third determinant. So, what I have to consider now a coefficient a coefficients from the equations 2 and 3 you have to ignore right that is 0 and then it is 1 b coefficients and c coefficients 1 minus 3. Next when you are working for b then a coefficients are to be considered and b coefficients are to be ignored that should be 1 and minus 3 when you are working for c then c coefficients must be ignored that is 1 minus 1 then b coefficients must be considered a and b coefficients must be considered. Then if these are the three uh, situations then a divided by determinant simplification this is 0 minus 1 should be minus 1 this is minus b 1 into minus 3 is minus 3 and then plus 1 should be minus 2 and 1 into 1 minus 0 that is c that is 1 into 1 minus 0 means plus 1 therefore a equal to and directly if you equate because all the three are equivalence relations and if we if you equate to some constant that constant in general notation can be eliminated easily then you can get the numerical value like this. So, a equal to minus 1 and then b equal to plus 2 and c is equal to 1. So, these are the values we call them as direction ratios then if you substitute back in the equation in the one point form of the equation if you substitute because what we are what we were trying for these uh, constant uh, I mean uh, direction ratios where uh, symbols that is ABC through cross multiplication method we have calculated then here if you substitute that should be x minus 0 and uh, plus 2 into y minus 1 plus uh, 1 into it is z minus 1 equal to 0 this is your required equation but you can simplify further to write in the form of ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to 0 let me see minus x and my plus 2y plus z and taking the constant separately this is 0 and this becomes minus 2 and this becomes minus 1 z equal to 0 therefore removal of minus sign from the first term should be x minus 2y and minus z and this should be plus 3 equal to 0 this is your most wanted and final equation for and it is the answer for the problem find the equation of the plane which passes through all these three points now the answer is correct or not you have to check it you have to verify it what is the verification 
you substitute these points one by one, your equation must satisfy. Let me uh, give that verification here. That is at first point 0, 1, 1. So if you substitute 0 here, then 1 here, minus 2 and then 1 here, minus 1 and plus 3 equal to 0. That means simplification 0 equal to 0. That means that point certainly lies on the plane. This is one checking. Second checking, 1, 1 and then 2. First term that is 1 and then minus 2 and then minus 2 and then plus 3 is equal to 0. If you simplify 4 minus 4 that is also 0. This is second checking. That means this point is also lying on the plane. This point is also lying on the plane. We will go for the third checking, third point that should be minus 1, 2, minus 2 should be minus 1, then 2 means uh, minus 4 and this should be minus 2, minus 2, this is x equal to minus 1, this is 2 minus 4 and this must be plus 2 and plus 3 equal to 0. This should be minus 5 and plus 5 equal to 0. Therefore, here also you are getting 0 equal to 0. So, what is your conclusion now? What, what the hypothesis which I proposed? All these three points must lie on the same plane. Now, your verification is here. You have solved the problem and your verification is here. That means, all these three points are, are lying on the same plane. If you compare, there are two planes in the space. All these three points either they will lie on this plane or they will lie on this plane. So, one point here, two points here, otherwise two points here, one point here will not happen all these three points must lie on the same plane because number of planes you can more than one plane you can create in the space therefore all these points and uh, yeah, this condition says this verification says they are said to be coplanar when all the points are lying on the same plane we call it as the situation as coplanar so we will go to the next problem find the equation of the plane which passes through the point that is 3 minus 3 1 and is parallel to the plane that is 2x plus 3y plus 5z plus 6 equal to 0 and there are uh, totally uh, 3 uh, questions are there for that. Let me solve the first one <coughs> here. The formula which I uh, discussed in the previous class in the space when you are given two uh, planes then if they are parallel, if they are parallel means last time I was explaining the same thing. Find the equation of the plane which passes through the point 3 minus 3 1 and parallel to the plane. Okay. Parallel to the plane means this is one plane. Okay. Find the equation of the plane which passes through the point 3 minus 3 1. Yes. Any one of these two, you consider two planes, any one of these two uh, plane, one of these two planes must passes through 3 minus 3 and then 1. Okay. You consider another plane because equation is given in the first question 2x plus 3y plus 5z plus 6 equal to 0 when if they are said to be parallel like this. Okay. They are said to be parallel. They should not be like this. Right. If they are not parallel means they are intersecting. Okay. Then if the planes are parallel means irrespective of their starting point and their moments they are said to be parallel fine. Geometrically in the three dimensional situation that means in the space what is the mathematical condition we are going to prove is a plane which is parallel to another plane is differing only by the constant that is all. Whatever it is there it is only by differing by uh, the constant then that constant is to be evaluated. So, rest of the coefficients, rest of the coefficients means x coefficient, y coefficient and z coefficient must remain to be same when two planes are parallel to each other. Yes, the equation that means the point is given 3 minus 3 1 fine. Equation is given first question equation is given 2x, 2x plus 3y plus 5z plus 6 equal to 0. Uh, if you carefully observe this one parallel to another plane. So, now what we do here, 
I consider another plane in the three dimensional case suppose this is one plane and suppose this is another plane. So this is moving in this direction this is also moving in this direction then only we will call it as plane right uh, sorry parallel situation uh, planes are parallel situation right. What we claim according to the formulation I, formulation in my previous class I had given any plane which is parallel to another plane is differing by the constant yes with that condition if you write 3 y plus 5 z plus k equal to 0 that means this is the equation of the plane given here and this is the equation of the plane given here uh, that means we proposed we have uh, proposed a new equation which is differing only by the constant because this is uh, uh, actually in the calculus we uh, take it as a variable this is variable this is variable and they differ only in the constant otherwise in the geometry we say that they are unknowns right they are the unknowns otherwise coordinates length of the coordinates on three directions that is x y and then z fine. Now what we do here we have to find out the value of k if this if this plane if this plane passes through because the question is given find the equation of the plane which passes through the point 3 minus 3 and then 1 that means equation which is constructed as a new one differing by k passes through the point 3 minus 3 1 that I am doing 2x that means 2 into 3 plus 3 into minus 3 plus 5 into 1 plus k equal to 0 that is uh, 6 minus 9 plus 5 plus k equal to 0 that means uh, it is 2 plus k equal to 0 6 plus uh, 6 plus 5 11 that is minus 9 okay so that must be 2 plus k is equal to 0 k is equal to minus 2 so this is your calculation then required plane we write required plane where it was differing by the constant that should be 2x plus 3y plus 5z uh, minus 2 equal to 0 this is plane 2 this is plane 1 therefore plane 1 is this equation and plane 2 is this equation and both of both these planes are parallel now you can similarly solve the another uh, question but I will go to the third one perpendicular to the planes perpendicular any uh, perpendicular to the planes the third question perpendicular to the plane 7x plus y plus 2z is equal to 6 and 3x plus 5y minus 6z is equal to 8 okay. So here what we do in the third one any, pay, any plane through the point uh, which will be in the form of uh, one point form you will consider and this is perpendicular to the planes other two planes. So what you did in the first problem like calculation of our direction ratios so we will have to follow the same procedure for example the plane passes through the question is very clear find the equation of the plane which passes through the point 3 minus 3 and then 1 and is and is perpendicular to the planes fine uh, if you observe the statement carefully carefully very sensibly the plane which you are going to calculate is passing through the point that is 3 minus 3 1 fine you have to construct one point form to that plane uh, uh, through the point 3 minus 3 that one right so we will use the uh, one point form as this standard representation let one point form of the plane b that is a into x minus 3 plus b into y plus 3 plus c into z minus 1 equal to 0. Now the answer for the third question and it is perpendicular to the planes. So perpendicular to the planes means uh, there are two equations which uh, the problem statement uh, takes the first equation is 7x plus y. 7x plus y plus 2z equal to 6 and next equation is uh, 3x plus 5y minus 6z 
equal to 8. If you write 7x plus y plus 2z minus 6 equal to 0, 3x plus 5y minus 6z minus 8 equal to 0 in the most standard form ax plus by plus cz plus d equal to 0. Now what I claim is this is equation number 1, this is equation number 2 and this is equation number 3, yes. What I do here when it is a perpendicular one plane which is perpendicular to the other two planes. Now we have created one plane uh, that is called one point forum, yes. One point forum means like so these two are perpendicular right the, uh, these two these two are the planes and it is perpendicular to another plane yes it is perpendicular to another plane means if I hold like this the third plane you can see the you can observe that one the base which is perpendicular to this plane and left side also this is another plane. So if I insert like this all these three points meet at one point okay this is one plane and this is another plane this is the third one right third one which is a combination of two coordinate axis right anywhere you can move inside anywhere you can move. So this should be uh, perpendicular to other two planes what is the mathematical work which you are going to show that means you have to find out an equation uh, where equation of the plane which is perpendicular to other two planes but the given a constructed plane as one point form passes through the point like 3 minus 3 and then 1 yes. Now you have three planes this is 1, this is 2 and this is 3 right. If it is perpendicular to this one then we will use the equation when it is perpendicular what is the product of summation of the product of direction ratios we will take it as an angle between those two planes that is cos theta is equal to L1 L2 plus M1 M2 plus N1 N2 when it is perpendicular then the angle between them is 90 degree then cos 90 is equal to 0 that condition already we have proved in my previous class therefore when it is cos theta but it is with respect to the with respect to the direction ratios but not direction cosines because this this equation speaks in terms of abc this equation also tells in terms of abc this equation also tells in terms of abc right for the perpendicular condition for the perpendicular condition the first equation with the 2 the first equation with 2 you have to multiply like this 7 into a and 2 into b and sorry 1 into b 1 into b and then 2 into c equal to 0 that means 7a plus b plus 2c equal to 0 is one equation because plane first with the plane 3 they are perpendicular to each other when they are perpendicular to each other means cos theta is equal to a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 <coughs> divided by sigma a1 square and uh, sigma a1 square into that is sigma b1 square but cos theta that means two planes are perpendicular that is equal to cos 90 degree that is equal to 0 because cos 90 is 0. Therefore with this formula I am writing when you take the cross multiplication with this 0 that is what a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 exactly I am using that formula. Now equation 1 with the third one therefore 3 into a 3 into a 5 into b and uh, minus 6 into c equal to 0. So you have two equations just compare with the uh, third problem uh, first problem we solved to find the values of abc exactly similar procedure. So what is that? a divided by it is 1 phi it is 2 minus 6 determinant z equal to minus b divided by 7 3 2 minus 6 and equal to c divided by 7 3 and then 1 phi alternately plus minus and then you have to use it okay then a equal to otherwise a divided by minus 6 minus uh, 10 that is minus 16 
is equal to minus b divided by uh, minus 42 uh, minus 42 and minus 6 this is equal to c divided by c divided by simplification of the determinant 35 minus that is 3 35 minus 3 therefore a by minus 16 minus b divided by minus 48 is equal to c divided by it is 32 since it since the common uh, number happens by uh, that is 16 you can divide throughout that is a divided by minus 1 that is b divided by minus minus cancels 16 3 is a 48 that is c divided by 16 2 is a 32 therefore a takes the value minus 1 and b takes the value minus 3 and c take uh, I am sorry that is plus 1 and c takes the value it is plus 2. So, these are the 3 values of a, b, c then you are required equation of the plane which is perpendicular to all the 3 is this one that is minus 1 into x minus 3 and 3 into y plus 3 and 2 into it is z minus 1 equal to 0 then this should be minus x plus 3 y and plus 2 z and this is plus 3 and this is plus 9 and this is minus 2 equal to 0 therefore x minus 3 y minus 2 z this should be uh, that is uh, 1 10 means minus 10 equal to 0 this is the equation of the plane which we did not know that is given two planes given two planes and another plane which is perpendicular to that one. So, given two planes which is perpendicular to another one. So, perpendicular you can see the vertical planes right another one plane anyone you consider as a first plane and the remaining other two uh, are perpendicular to the considered plane ok. Then, other two planes equations are given to us, but one more plane equation you have to calculate that is the equation this one x minus 3 y minus 2 z minus 10 is equal to 0. Now, you can uh, uh, also verify uh, back. So, what exactly these uh, direction cosines will match with the first equation, second equation and third equation. So, that is the uh, second problem which you can concentrate and the next problem find the ratio in which the line joining uh, the points that is 4 minus 2 minus 3 and uh, minus 2 1 4 is divided by the plane that is 2 x minus 3 minus z uh, plus 3 is equal to 0. Find the ratio in which here the problem takes the meaning find the ratio in which means you have to connect with the first topic that is section formula and the uh, data is given in this problem you have to find out the value of lambda otherwise values of m and n because section formula already you have derived with the first uh, chapter find the ratio in which the line joining of the points 4 minus 2 and minus 3 and the next point is minus 2 1 4 is the second point and uh, uh, divided by the plane 2 x divided by the plane 2 x minus 3 y minus z plus 3 equal to 0. The meaning of this uh, uh, situation meaning of this problem is there is a plane and there is a plane and the line is intersected means you can insert 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 the plane like this ok. So, anywhere on this line it will end it will cut anywhere suppose if you if you stop up to this one then it is also representing m is to n because in the section formula we discussed in the previous class and if you take anywhere but not at the center not at the center a straight line which passes through this plane otherwise plane cuts the straight line at, at the distance m is to n here we take since it is a general case here we take <coughs> the ratio that means distance left uh, to one side of uh, that plane which cuts the line will be m and the other side 
will be n but for the general calculation uh, the same modif uh, formula modification we take like that is m is to n instead we will take it as that is lambda is to 1 okay then uh, this is the plane you can you can take like this so this is the point given that is p4 minus 2 then 3 and then q it is minus 2 1 comma 4 then this is the point where the plane cuts but the plane equation is this one that is 2x minus 3y minus z plus 3 is equal to 0 then we use the section formula keeping these two points in terms of that is lambda is to 1 instead of instead of m is to n so if you take in m is to n you expect two equations but if you take lambda is to 1 you will get one equation where it is easy to calculate the value of lambda therefore the section formula uh, says like this minus 2 lambda plus 4 divided by lambda plus 1 right uh, and minus 2 plus minus 2 lambda here it is minus 4 lambda right minus 2 lambda plus 4 right that is right because I am taking from second point and this should be 1 lambda and uh, minus 2 divided by lambda plus 1 and 4 lambda minus 3 divided by lambda plus 1 are respectively for x y z because this is the point which we consider x y z this is x 1 y 1 z 1 and this is x2 y2 and then z2 you are given two points of that straight line one plane cuts that line uh, leaving the distance on either sides like lambda is to 1 this is your general statement then uh, you will allow or you will introduce these values in the equation then it comes to be it is 2 into 2 lambda 2 lambda this must be and plus 4 divided by lambda plus 1 minus 3 into minus 3 into that is lambda minus 2 divided by lambda plus 1 and minus 1 into 4 lambda minus 3 and divided by lambda plus 1 and plus 3 equal to 0. If you take LCM as lambda plus 1 and taking that lambda plus 1 3 lambda plus 3 to the left side then you will be getting the value of lambda it is calculated value as uh, that is 5 by 2 you can verify afterwards this is because this is elementary calculation that you can do that simplification means I give the clue take LCM and then uh, multiply that lambda plus 1 by 3 and then you can simplify you are getting the answer as that is a 5 by 2 <coughs> this value is a 5 by 2 means therefore lambda is to 1 is equal to 5 by 2 is to 1 otherwise lambda value is m divided by n is to 1 therefore one side it is 5 by 2 means one side it is 5 units and other side it is 2 units so that uh, uh, the plane cuts the straight line is not at the center if it is at the center means that must be 3.5 because 5 units one side and 2 units other side it must be total as 7 therefore that is not 3.5 it is 5 is to 2 this is uh, the ratio which you have calculated right find the equation next the intercept form intercept form of the planes uh, that is x by a x by a plus y by b plus z by c is equal to 1 so we will go for one sample uh, problem number 7 that is find the intercept made by the plane that is 2x plus 3y minus z equal to minus 1 so any equation you can take and uh, study it as uh, uh, intercept form for example this equation itself you can take right but let me solve the uh, given problem and then I will give the hint uh, how to solve this one right the uh, problem is given like this find the intercept problem number 7 you can make a reference find the intercept made by intercepts made by the plane 2x plus 3y and minus z equal to minus 1 right intercept forum means already I told you that is that is x y and then z so with this a units with this b units and with this c units that means length from the origin is 
a units length from the origin on the y axis is b units right and length length on the z axis is c units this is called intercept form so how to show it uh, graphically that you uh, the intercept form in the space right when this is the plane this one is plane so this plane i i'm allowing this plane this is not uh, the only sample i'm giving a small size so it should be a big size that should touch this ceiling this should touch this wall and this is this should also touch this wall when this is the plane which cuts at a distance so with the x axis for example if ceiling is x axis uh, combination x y plane then with x axis that is a units other two like uh, b and uh, c units length then intercept form what is the equation x by a plus y by b plus z by c is equal to 1 these a b c are the intercepts right these a b c are the intercepts we are going to calculate fine how we are going to convert this problem into any equation can be converted to this form fine x is your then x divided by 1 by 2 plus y divided by this should be y y divided by 1 by 3 and plus of z divided by minus 1 is equal to minus 1 still it is not intercept form because summation should be is equal to plus 1 should not be minus 1 then I shall remove this minus sign should be x divided by minus 1 by 2 plus of y divided by minus 1 by 3 plus of z by plus 1 is equal to 1 this is the actual form of uh, the equation of the plane in the intercept form intercepts are nothing but distances on x axis y axis and z axis therefore this is nothing but x by a plus y by b plus z by c is equal to 1 here a takes minus 1 by 2 b takes minus 1 by 3 and c takes this is the plus 1 you can verify also by making back substitution the uh, intercept form of the plane so uh, like this uh, you can calculate uh, you can verify other uh, problems here find the angle between the planes uh, 2x minus y plus z equal to 6 and x plus y plus 2z equal to 7 the formula is cos theta is equal to uh, already I have written for the previous reference that is uh, a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 divided by sigma of a1 square that means sigma of a1 square plus b1 square plus a1 square into that is multiplied by sigma of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square so with this uh, the chapter that is uh, equation of the plane and then their related problems uh, that is enough for the lecture but uh, you can continue all those problems and then you can discuss uh, the, the remaining problems now let me explain about the last topic in this uh, uh, lecture that is straight line in the space we have the difference straight line in the two dimensional case and straight line in the three dimensional case yes I am coming to the last part of uh, my discussion so this is the very important basic definition which you have to understand equation of the plane in the space right equation of the plane in the space is nothing but one plane one plane cuts another plane of in this shape one plane cuts another plane in this shape keeping this as a base which I am showing the white sheet which which is to be cut and then inserted in another white sheet some base is there and this these two planes are cutting right intersecting so what we do, what we are going to define the straight line in the space as a plane cuts another plane on a line a plane cuts another line uh, another plane on a line that means on a line means this is the meaning so first point if I consider the uh, straight line which is uh, which is intersected or the plane at the uh, first end and the, this is the last end all these points because this form of a straight line the intersection happening between this plane and this plane will be in the form of a straight line if you insert one plane into the other one plane into the other means they are in the form of a line straight line that means I am allowing this plane to intersect and not not uh, I am allowing only by first point to be uh, inserting in that plane but 
all the points that the first plane means top end and bottom end are entering another plane in, in the form of a straight line. The straight line which is formed due to the intersection of the two stra, uh, planes, two planes is nothing but straight line in the space. I repeat that statement. The straight line which is formed by the intersection of two planes to form a straight line uh, for the result of intersection is nothing but straight line. That is in the space, the equation of the straight line in the space is nothing but x minus x1, we call it as a symmetrical form uh, and it is a general form which is represented by two equations that is a1x plus b1y plus c1z plus d1 equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2z plus d2 z equal to 0 because when we set the definition that two planes are intersecting in the form of a straight line because easily you can make out this is one plane and this is another wall they meet at one point means along the line right this is the line which I, which you can show this is the line anyway it is not the exact corner but uh, I mean it is not it is a curved surface here this is the curved surface suppose this plane and this plane are perpendicular to each other along the line this line is nothing but uh, straight line in the space then obviously uh, this this plane has equation of uh, yeah, equation of the plane in the general form like this and this plane has the equation of the plane in the general form like this okay obviously when you say that when two planes are intersecting each other then two equations at a time when you define to give the result of intersection in the form of a straight line nothing but general form of the straight line then symmetrical form of the straight line we define uh, by taking these two equations only that should be x minus uh, x1 by L is equal to y minus y1 by uh, m is equal to z minus z1 divided by n. Uh, here uh, a printing mistake is there in the denominator that is 1 1 1 should have been L m and then n because they are the direction cosines. We call it as x minus x1 divided by L and is equal to y minus y1 divided by m is equal to z minus z1 divided by n is equal to r. This is called symmetrical form of the straight line. Therefore, we define this straight line in the space with the general uh, set of coordinates. If you take this x minus x1 divided by L is equal to R, then the simplification comes to be x minus x1 divided by L is equal to y minus y1 divided by M is equal to z minus z1 divided by N is equal to R. The first one if you connect, second one if you connect and the third one if you connect, you will get the values x equal to x1 plus L into R and y is equal to uh, y1 plus M into R and z is equal to z1 plus N into R. All these three are referred to be as uh, general set of points in the symmetrical form of the uh, straight line. Of course, each one you are comparing like x minus x1 by L is equal to R and then taking cross multiplication x minus x1 is equal to L into R then you will get the value x equal to uh, shifting that x1 minus x1 to the right side you will be getting it as that is x is equal to uh, x1 plus L into R. Then another form that is the coordinates of any point on the line coordinates of any point on the line means that is what I said these are the, the uh, general uh, values like uh, arbitrary point that is p x y z then next you have to uh, concentrate the topic the application of the straight line which you have to study as the main problems like equation of the line passing through two given points that is the general equation for two dimensional case uh, which we discussed in the previous class uh, is also hold good like x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 is equal to y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 is equal to z minus z1 divided by z2 minus z1. If you take uh, the given three points and if you simplify, you will get the equation only in terms of first degree equation. All that you have to observe is, uh, for example, this is equation of plane, this is equation of plane, two planes are there. You need to write always or need, you need to understand, you need to remember the basic thing is the first degree x, first degree y and first degree z only should be representing the equation of the plane. In by mistake if you in your do, uh, simplifications in any problems if you are getting like x square r y square r z square or uh, all the three as x square y square z square or x cube y, y cube z cube will not represent 
the equation of the plane because all the every time equation of the plane must be with first degree in x, first degree in y and then first degree in z only because, because all the three unknowns are supposed to be in the linear form. We call it as first degree in x, y, z and the rest of the points like x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3 they are all the given points. Then intersection of a plane and a line. Uh, then you have to calculate the uh, length r in the uh, region that is intersection and then perpendicular distance of a uh, point from a line. So that should be also the magnitude that is uh, we consider as uh, uh, from the symmetrical form then you, we can use a distance formula in that form. Then angle between a line and a plane once again the angle is to be modified what the uh, equation we consider for cos theta is equal to that is sum of the product of direction cosines as well as sum of the product of direction ratios. And next is condition uh, for a line to lie in the plane, this is very important, they must have a common uh, point of intersection and the last discussion in this one is shortest distance between two lines. In this shortest distance between two lines is that of course, for example, I am holding, you observe my hands here one point I am uh, and here another point okay these two lines are moving like this okay shortest distance between these two lines of course when the lines are not in the same direction for example if they change in the direction but they must be parallel right shortest distance means the common perpendicular which is possessed by these two lines is called shortest distance. So length with respect to the first line and length with respect to the second line. So both straight lines will be combined together and then shortest distance will be calculated by means of the common perpendicular. So with this uh, theory I am going to close and then few problems uh, uh, you can study on your own I am going to conclude and uh, if any queries are there even the today's topic and also the previous uh, any one of the any, any of the topics which I discussed you are free to contact me and uh, the address is available in the VTU uh, e-learning center that is uh, VTU Edges at center you can contact. Thank you.